God, I'm grateful to me for being me. <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to host the Zenergy Point Content Creators Convention. I have always dreamed, dreamt, dreamed, dreamt of. So hi guys, welcome to Authentic Bama Goma. I'm running out of time, uh, but I'm excited. I'm grateful for this opportunity, obviously. I'm grateful to God, I'm grateful to me for being me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to host the Zenergy Point Content Creators Convention. I have always dreamed, dreamt, dreamt, dreamt of such opportunities. To use my voice in spaces where young people are being empowered and there's something great happening. And right now, uh, right now, <laughs> Asia is playing on radio, and she's actually the founder of Zenergy Content Creators Convention. Not found, founder of Zenergy Content Creators Convention, but founder of Zenergy Point. Yeah, uh, that's the company itself. And her goal, basically, based on my understanding, is to empower young content creators. As she's actually saying it, yeah, content creators who get monetized. Uh, we're going to have conversations around mental health. I'll be moderating a. Uh, session on that as well as hosting the event today super excited all i want to do is just give what i have inside me use my gifts for good and empower people through what i have as well as learn today so see you later on let's go um this cop needs to let us go it starts at nine guys it's at 8 27 please let us move sir good sir in the uniform <laughs> So we are on our way. We're gonna make it in good time. Uh, just go check the mics and everything. I'm excited to bring you all along this journey with me, with us, because I don't definitely don't do this alone by myself. It's not just my work, it's all of us, and I'm super grateful to my team. Behind the camera, we have Ronnie. You should check him out. He's the best videographer, stroke photographer, stroke artist that I have seen. Yep, that's him. Um, so we are on our way. He'll be capturing the shots, and then I have my friends who will be joining us later on today, who have sponsored this dress <laughs> halfway. Um, and then we have Makeup City. We're from uh, Makeup City for the makeup and everything else that is on my face, glowing on my body. Super, super grateful. Let's go. Excited to bring you along. So stick around. Bye.
morning. Thank you. Hi, can I get your attention? I can see very beautiful, beautiful faces in here and very handsome men. Lakini nakwambia tume tume kambali. Some of us are over here. Wengine wako kule. What's the reason? Tupendane kuna baridi Nairobi. Hey. Hi. How are you? You're very handsome. You know, Kenyan men and African men are hardly ever told that they are handsome. Imeenda. <laughs> Generally, we need to build a culture of appreciating each other. Not just content, not just our looks. But say congratulations to someone, say you're gorgeous, say you're handsome. Sasa nataka, the handsome and very beautiful ladies over here. Tusonge tu hapa, tupendane kidogo. Let's move, let's move. Hmm? There's another table over there. Msio go pane. Content creators. Content creators wana fai kupendana. We are here to network. And while we say why we are here, I want to get a couple of hands or I will select you. You saw a poster or a banner on social media, yeah? Then you paid for this content creators convention and showed up, yeah? Eh, kuna gender balance. Oh, we have one representative. <laughs> <laughs> then you paid for the content creators convention and workshop, yeah? Then you showed up. Nini kufanya? What made you show up? Let me get someone from this table. Why did you show up? Why did you introduce yourself? My name is Jason. I'm a social media manager for Radio Presenco. It's a digital marketing agency. So you can put your last name in the space. We're Instagram and TikTok. So the reason I came for this event, I'm going to call Jay. So we came here to learn more about content creation and also to network and uh, yeah, our participants. I love that. Learn, network and up your skills. That's amazing. I do hope you get that. No, I don't hope. I know. Usipo pata hiyo leo. When itafute. Nona ni kama unasipa kutuambia kito. Buji introduce utuambia mwono uli show up. I'm very happy and I missed the last one so I feel I'm going to have to come but some of the videos I did was to learn more about financial literacy because eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Nikubad. 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 <laughs> I also get to get more knowledge about content creation today. Yeah. Thank you very much and that is a topic that will be covered today. Financial literacy as well as managing your finances and with that in mind, kuna sentono palinje. They offer financial literacy training and they will also be with us the whole day. If you get outside, there's a booth for that with Sentonomy. Now, here's my challenge to you while we learn today. Our hashtag today is Zenergy Content Creators Convention, yeah? That is our hashtag, Zenergy Content Creators Convention. I want you to take a selfie with whoever you like, with whoever is on your table. Take a selfie. This is the content creators. We're all about creating content. Post it on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Share it. Hashtag Zenergy Content Creators Convention. Let people know that you're here and what they're missing out on because we're all here to learn. Maybe we'll get a different voice from here. Why did you show up? Um, so I'm trying to get into the content creator space, basically for business. Um, I just started a fashion business. So I'm here to learn to learn especially on financial literacy, to learn on content creation for business, and all that it entails. Thank you very much. Learn financial literacy. Very important. We all want to earn from whatever value we create out there, right? Because whatever you put out there, you believe in your mind and your soul, or rather your spirit, that this value that you're providing for your audience and an audience could be from one person, two people, to a million people. Definitely, we all want to grow. All right, thank you very much. I have learned something new already. Healthy content. What kind of content are you publishing? Is it keeping you away from accessing opportunities? Or is it bringing you towards and closer to opportunities? I can see a face that I saw in the last workshop and she's gorgeous. I want her to tell us why she showed up for the convention. Mkumbuke selfie. Hata mkitaka na mimi mimi mtapiga. Alafu mtumile hashtag tunasema ni Zenergy Content Creators Convention. Sindio? 
Yeah, because there's value you're gaining out of this. Do not be afraid to show people out there that there's value to gain out of this, a lot of it. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. It's Nadia. So, I attended the last uh, Zenergy Point workshop and I'm here again representing all those that could not have come and the reason why I'm here is because of mental health forever. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nadia, for sharing that and accepting to share that. It takes courage, even I know as I stand here. Ukipata Mike Hibi. Where we come a content creator, nya kwa opportunity. And those are the some of the some of the things that we'll be talking about today, yeah? We have mental health, we are all learning, we have financial literacy, we have panelists who are well seasoned, we have Janet Mbogua who will be speaking with us. Amazing, amazing individuals who have made it in the industry. And individuals who have earned from content. No matter how much you to really. Okay, I should have. Okay, my name is Mary Kathoni and I'm here to learn. I'm here in content creation and yeah, just here to learn. Thank you very much, Mary. Um, Karimuni Kaliakveli, Nini Water, Bobili, Karimuni, Karimuni, Sama. Content creation is a person of the camera, see We want people to know what our craft is, how we serve people, is it through video, is it through audio, and thank you very much for engaging with me, as well as sharing why you showed up. asking very many of you in this room what to karibie, what to ambie, why you're here today because you saw the, bon the banner the poster on social media then you paid for it you invested in yourself you showed up here today as a result of that yeah and then some of you told me you want to learn about financial literacy managing your money mental health which is very important as well as investing in that, yeah? In the long run, how do we make content creation sustainable for each and every one of us? Keeping in mind that our theme today is celebrating the power of content creation. So I asked Elsie as well, who is the CEO, as introduced by Daddy Mato, what content creation means to her as an individual. And she gave me three fun words, one of them being fun, because it's entertaining. Content creation can be entertaining. And we all know the founder, Aziad. Her content is very entertaining. We have Rono here, we have Jackie, we have Janet Mbogwa, we have Njugush, who told me his three words are money, 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 and more money. <laughs> money Maratatu. So Elsie's three words were fun, impact, and hope. What kind of message are you communicating out there as a creative? What kind of impact do you want to create? Please, let's all welcome Elsie 
o kaci. But here's the story from me. Uh, when Aziad blew up, her number was trending. Then I remember sending a message to the number that was trending. And I said, hey, it's gonna be okay. I know it sucks right now. Obviously, she never got it. <laughs> um, but to me, seeing someone put themselves out there when I was starting up as a content creator meant something to me because it takes courage for each and every one of us to show up for ourselves, to put content out there whether it's one person who is watching it, or 10 million people or 2 million people, whatever the number, and hoping that it will create impact, as Elsie said. So Aziad, thank you for, as Daddy Macho said, allowing us to live your dream and learn from the journey. People, please let's all give a round of applause to Aziad Nasema.
to empower content creators. We will have we will be having these master classes many times a year, and then now at the end of the year we close with the convention. Basically, that is the goal. I want us to get to a point where content creators know their value. No, no. Do you know who you are? Do you know how strong you are? Do you know how powerful you are? Do you know? No, do you know? Like, yeah, ask that question. Okay, the general question. Ask yourself. Do you know who you are? Do you know? Do you know how powerful you are? Do you know what you can do? Or do you just do what you're told to do? And as creatives here, kind reminder that we are not here forever. Do not sit on your gifts. Content creation, just for context. While we get to know each other today, and you warm up to me as Christine Magoma, najua tunajua dadi matona konga famous, napenda kumwona kwa TV. For me means that I contribute to peace across African states by creating a video series called Tech for Peace. And also hike different scale, different mountains, and show you my, me in the bush as I wonder whether there's a snake that will kiss my bum. If you're a hiker, you know it's, it's, not, it's the ghetto itself. Jokes aside, uh, as I wrap up with this, content creation to me means financial freedom, which we are all here to learn. Peace in our craft while we execute because we're all here to learn about mental health as well. It's very important and we have Rono for that. Within my four years of creating content, this is what it has taught me. We cannot do it alone. That's why I'm grateful to Zinergy. We all showed up here today because we want to learn from each other. Amaji, Amaji, Shaki Kulan. Yeah, we cannot do it alone. It's gonna be hard and challenging and this leads me to our next speaker. She famously is known for saying, pick your heart. And just do it, either way. So, to picking your heart, I asked Janet, what three words, what words, and what content creation means to her? And this is what she told me. Her three words were evolve, change, and relevance. Content should evolve over time, adapting to whatever is happening. Change, because, I mean, you've got to shift with what, or rather where the world is moving to, and relevance. Ladies and gentlemen, to Janet Mbogwa, please help me welcome her today.
Somebody called Phil Matthews, who was like a um, big radio producer back in the day with a big British voice and said, Janet, I know you're calling every day. If we get a job, we'll call you. I said, sir. That was my humbling moment. And I had to let it go. Until one day I was in the car with my sister and my mom in my room, and the same big voice called and said, Janet is Phil. And I screamed, so my mom panics and she stops the car, and he was basically like, look, must we be honest? There's an opening. Come and audition. If you pass, you get the job. And that's what happened. I had no idea what I was doing, but I went. I tried to audition. I went to an editor in Afari and Sean. And long story short, I got the job. And that has never left me. That ability to be like, if you put your mind to it, no matter how far away it seems. Because um, I was, I had no friends, I had no godfather, nothing. It was just my grit and my hustle. I'm really proud of you and what your team is doing. Thank you for being a sign that this generation can really create something. You know, all of you are but like I say, whether it's Ronald, whether it's Bush. Thank you guys, and thank you for being not just the future, but for being the present. Thank you guys so much. content creators convention. Hi, let's get in with whatever we have. It's okay. Let's get in with whatever we have. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, Consistent, then what? I really, I really need them to wear the money. So that's what I'm saying. Such a part of the beauty because that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm for the top of the money. Yeah. If you are able to give a client over and above, outside the client, they'll come back to you. Because guess what? They are options. And the options are so ask yourself, what am I doing in my digital space that will allow me not today, tomorrow, to achieve my financial goals? I know a lot of us are human beings. It's good to do a lot of people. But I don't have Instagram to do that. It's good to have Instagram doing well. But have you represented yourself for the painting as well? It's not, you have multiple platforms. You can choose to be on some platforms, you can choose to not be on others. But let's say, whatever you choose to speak, maintain the same energy you're putting in one platform on another platform. Then if it's your own focus on TikTok, focus on TikTok and also focus on Instagram. In the same way, focus on Instagram. Thank you so much. We don't know about tomorrow, especially as artists. We are so scared. We don't know about tomorrow. That's why I, I, I decided to take the classes. Because I also wanted to learn more in regards to investing. Other than just my craft, but also other things that can bring me money. To put more money into what I really love doing, which is um, film. And Abel can tell you, film is not cheap. It is very, very expensive. And you will not get that return immediately. It's going to take time. We've been doing it for quite some time. And I can attest to you right now. 
But yeah, so that's why I joined the classes. When you get information, apply it immediately. Like, don't wait. Because there's a sense in which we'll get to that at some point. Then life happens. So, can I use a little bit of my, uh, of my own advice? Ivy just said, you ask for what you want, isn't it? Can I ask, guys, can you please follow us on Instagram, on uh, YouTube? We've got some amazing content. Please do follow us on Autonomy on all those platforms. So, in response to your question, to response to your question, at Centromi, we do not talk about, you know how everyone talks about you should save a percentage of your income. And I find that that's odd, because if I'm earning 15,000 and I'm saving 10%, can I become a millionaire? Like, really? There's no way. So we talk about goal-based saving and investing. So set a goal. Like say, I want to have this amount saved up in the money market fund that James was talking about. Put it a number and say, I want to have 200,000 or half a million, whatever number it is. Because what that does, is then it forces you to have a, a strategy to get to that same goal. I want you to do the same thing with your investment goals. Now, how do you tell the difference between saving and investing? So saving, you're looking for security. You know the way you're talking about, you just want to keep your money aside. You want security. So that means you don't want to put your money where there's going to be any fluctuations. You hear the market has changed. No, 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 no. So savings, put it in a savings account or even in the money market fund because it's generally about similar risk factor there. Your first question for saving, is there any risk? That's first question. And then can I access my money when I need it? First. With investment, the difference is this. Your first question is not, is there a risk? Because there's a risk everywhere. So your first question is, what is my return, my potential return? When you have identified investments that give you a higher rate of return than inflation, now you are investing. Okay, so this is a chat room. I need us all to engage. I'm going to shoot less than three questions to each of them. Then I want you guys to shoot questions to them. We all know Shabet, and we have seen her grow. Most recently, I watched her story on Lynn Googie's channel. Thank you for sharing. And we have Fanny Kwega, who's a mental health advocate. I want to know from both of you, individually, what, what is mental health? What's, what is it like for a content creator to be in the right state mentally? That's Chabet. Then maybe for Fanny, because she's an advocate with a background in law, um, are there any legal provisions for mental health as well as where can we go to whenever we are cyberbullied? Because that is common among creatives. Who do we go to first? Let's start with Chabet, then we can go to Fanny. Okay, so hi guys. How are you? It's beautiful to be in this room. Um, I'm excited to almost end on this table. And uh, what does mental health mean to me? I think as a content creator, just staying sane, you know, uh, finding balance with the chaos. And um, it's very important because often we are normally the brand, like we present more so the brand. And all the struggle, struggle, you know, it's constantly like high, high, high. So I think it's just taking the chaos and that's what I think it means, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, staying sane, I really love that. Funny, what legal provisions exist in our constitution or maybe acts? What can I do as a content creator? For instance, I'm cyberbullied. We know as yet, kunamtu alipeleka mbio. Yeah? So, are there any legal provisions? Hi guys. So, cyberbullying um, itself. It's a crime. It's criminal. It's covered in our um, criminal laws. And that's why when someone's able to use you and there is evidence to that, you can bring a case and you can actually have them arrested. And if you remember, 
Carlos met Monse uh, Rabuli by that young boy. What's his name? Um, Branchera. Yes, and he was actually arrested. That's an accurate case of cyberbullying. It is a crime. If somebody comes at you and speaks ill about you, defends you, accuses you of something that you have not done, you have all the legal right to cure that by making it right by arresting them. You know, you can report to the police, um, get them only, and you know, but once you get to the system, Police takes it from there because cyberbullying itself is one of the major causes of um, mental health. You are cyberbullying, you post something, and then somebody just insults you or creates a scenario out of nowhere. That is one major thing that uh, affects you know everyone, not only content creators, even professionals and other you know other professionals. So you have to know how to work or should you approach, you report, you take a screenshot. Somebody has a second bullet you, they will do a screenshot, they send you an email. And even if it's through a phone conversation, our phones nowadays you can always do a recording. So you take that recording and you take the first point of call is the police. So the criminal laws, the criminal laws are advocate for that. When it comes to mental health, we have the mental health act. Um, and most employers um, try to see how to operate the mental well-being of their employees. But not for content creators, because you're self-employed, you're the one who's going to apply that to yourself. There are hospitals now where we can go and assess mental health, um, um, assessment and uh, treatment and all that. And then there's also the fact that NHIF trying to see how it can incorporate mental health among the uh, illnesses that can be covered by I really love that, uh, but my question to you after I ask Rona would be, now that you've mentioned the police, I'm curious, well it's unfortunate that I feel like maybe it might be my own bias, the police are yet to understand the dynamics that are there on digital platforms, I was cyberbullied. If I walk into a police station, I feel like the first thing that I would be asked is, Mbono Sifunge, your channel, you know, you took yourself there, you registered that account. Probably there's need for awareness, so how would we work around that? But just before we get to that, I want to get to Rona because I have heard your story and you have lived the experience. But now because in this room and we are here to serve the people in this room, all of us somehow aspire to garner numbers and serve in our line of work through content creation. How do we prepare ourselves for that quote-unquote fame that will come? Because it's inevitable that we will actually get people who like our content, content and people who won't. So how do we prepare? And were you prepared when it came? Okay. So first of all, when I think as I asked you to do this, I was like, yeah, let's go, wow, yeah. I was so much to say, actually, I came to mental health. And I was like, I'm tired of telling this sort of story, but I realized that I feel like my journey has so many, so many takeaways. If you got on the story, I'm really short. How do you do that? So, for one, I feel like self awareness is very important. I have a content creator, you need to know your weaknesses and your strengths. And uh, you need to know also, um, Hmm. Especially the weaknesses like who are you in certain school issues. Um, another thing is uh, being teachable, have a very teachable spirit. Like I recently, I was out of the land, I was out of the land. But um, I was able to learn that you go so far when you just ask and when you just learn from the grades. You know, it doesn't take away anything to just be like, you want to do this. There's times that you ask as a staff and I, never be like ashamed about it. it I, I mean, acceptance has no, tell us my own weakness. I feel like it's actually a strength because it makes your work easier and your, it, it, it kind of always adores to be helped. So another way you can do that is expected. Like everyone, most content creators, how many people are content creators? Shout out to me, can you just give us a round of applause? Like, wow, that is very audacious, just putting yourself out there. Um, 
thing is, always remember that people who are going are not in the field. Right. Always remember that. Right. And keep your focus on what you want. The minute you don't have purpose or focus, you listen to everyone. People will take books and start to do all this together. You're going to get this pressure. Actually, I'm going to talk about my art. You have to be here. You get it. Don't allow people to change your focus or your past. I mean, your purpose. Right? Um, but expect it. It's, it's going to happen. People, people who love you, I said to her, the people who love you, the people who support you to this day, and I'm just like, bruh, I'm sure it's not even, or you know, and the people who hold it, and that's okay. It's not your job to change anyone's perspective. It's not your job to make people love you. You want the people who love you, and then, fuck that, sorry to cast, but at the rest, be sure. And expect it, you know. Um, yeah, whatever form it may be, sometimes you're like, you know what, it's just a um, harmless video. You know what I mean? People are projecting. You need to know yourself. Come to start with that. Such as you know, they project on you already. You know what I mean? So I think that's, yeah. Thank you very much. I really like that. Be teachable and do your thing. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, back to you, Fanny. Um, on the police, I hope you caught that. But now, listening to Rono, she says, expect that. Is it that the, the Kenyan context, the African context, does not protect creatives enough for us to feel like we can be vulnerable out there and showcase our craft, our skills authentically without any fear? Because now we are on this other side. We want to create and to put it out there. But there's fear that we are automatically expecting that there might be hate that will come to us or for us. And what can be done around that? That's a very good question. Um, but I want just to comment on one thing. That the creative industry is not so good. It's, it's new and it gets um, exposed and it continues to expand with the digitization and everything. What is happening now? What is happening 20 years ago? So the hate, the everything, the bullying is to be expected. But now, us as for you as content creators, what are you going to do in your own individual capacity to create the awareness? How am I going to tell the policeman in my village in Zihiga that cyberbullying exists and cyberbullying is, is, is wrong and if somebody comes and tells them that I have a cyberbullying then they shouldn't take it in jest but the train of children said that they should take it um, seriously so just with other roles like Atazile Assault or Mama people they evolve with time and even our judiciary is, is continuously evolving this kind of case is one of the, the deformation the slander and all those things. But now there's a seriousness that the court takes when it comes to, you know, being defended when somebody slanders you and all that. So similarly with the um, concentration and cyberbullying and all that, this is a space that is growing. So it's upon us, all of us in this space, to create awareness. And how do we do that? You consistently and continuously talk about mental health, cyberbullying, and all these things that affect your work. Because if you're depressed, if somebody bullies you, and you don't have the mental strength to withstand, you will not create. And imagine if you're in a space where this creation is giving you bread. This is your bread and your butter. I want to touch you with me, I want to talk to a video, I want to prepare a launch in the next two hours, so I'm not going to do it. You will not do that. You will have to have that kind of strength to post that video. But then again, also create the awareness around the cyberbullying, the hate, and all that. They will not know until we tell them. And even our, our, when it comes to now the legislation in place, like let's say the Mental Health Act, the act is there. But it needs implementation. When I do act, me, me kita butu imandi ko, iko na sheria, iko na kila kitu. Like me, for it to come in, to have life, it has to be implemented. And who is going to implement it? It's us to force the legislators, the leadership, the creative like you people, and you know the kinajana, to work in a chamber, to do what to 
make sure that it is implemented so that we see the fruits of that whole act. I Yes, you have. Thank you very much. That is amazing. We have a mandate that has been thrown to us, especially as creatives. We want to ensure that we create safe digital spaces for everyone so that we can showcase our craft without living in fear. I promise you that I will not ask both of them too many questions so that I give a chance to all of you in here. Um, my request to Daddy Mato is that you can just check around whose hand is up. I want to hear questions from your end around mental health and make sure to let us know, is it to Ron or is it to Fanny? And while we wait for those hands, my final uh, question I'd say to Ron now is, I've heard you speak about, the, and we've seen you online, working on your body, going to the gym. What's the relationship between your physical state, not shape, but physical state in terms of loving who you are and who you see in the mirror, it, as well as what's the link between that and your mental health? I think movement, and I don't say gym, movement, whatever I say to you, do it. Because, I know as much as this for say, it's actually serious, it's actually healthy, 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 your brain needs this. And when you don't do this, like you build up chemicals in your brain, that's going to cause you to be depressed and stuff you need to see. A lot of the depression actually can just be eradicated by taking a man or just a walk. Um, and I think I just want to advocate for movement basically. What else? Um, oh, I was told to answer that I, you know, sometimes I like, compare your bodies and like when I'm scrolling to Instagram and you see this, oh, there's no face. I'm going to keep on there. <laughs> And it's not like I see my clothes often. So <laughs> basically, um, don't compare your body to people because your body works for you. You know what I eat, you can't eat. What you eat, someone else can't eat. And what works for you, you don't work for the next person. So respect your body now to love it unconditionally. That's the one thing I, I can say. Um, and what else? What else? What else? Yeah, eat healthy guys. Do your best to eat the good stuff, very good for you. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the results are something. The builder is building. <laughs> okay, I want to get. Yes, please go ahead. Not legal related, but I want us, um, when we live here, we'd be proud to talk about our mental well being because it's important. You will not function. If your mind is not right. And how do you know your mind is not right? Your soul. What do you think about yourself? Number one. Number two, what do you think about the other person? And then number three, what do you think about the world in entirety? And just know it's not it's not lame, it's not mundane to talk about your mental state. To recognize that this means I am happy. This means I am sad. I'm a scared ishish. Here we see ishish. Don't play it like that. Interrogate it. Know why you're feeling that way. And that's how you build, you build your mental strength muscles. And then it is like I say, you're going for a job and it doesn't help you. That will not be you. Right? So interrogate that. As a content creator, you put a thing, it doesn't get views, it doesn't get reactions, it doesn't get any engagement. Does it mean you will stop there? No. Every huge person you see started somewhere, and you guys are coming content creators. Nothing will come easy, it will not be served to you on a platter. Sometimes it will be served like a tornado. And I'm telling you this from experience. I have ever been sad like a Toledo. So that experience is it's, it's the most disappointing. But what do you do? You pick yourself up, you dust up, and you continue. And let me tell you, this one that I keep telling you that you must get to keep trying, keep pushing, uh, dust yourself up, those are not just words. 
I want you to sit down and to tell yourself, I'm going to try. No matter what, I will try. I will keep doing it. I will keep posting. I will keep creating. And then you do it consistently, continuously. That is you building the serious. So I will ask you to keep trying and to be very, very resilient. Because the world, the digital world is, is crazy. It is crazy. I don't know how to do it once though. It's Patrick. Hey, 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 Moto. Hey, Nili to come on. Now it's really a pseudo. Hey, but he won't stop posting, he won't stop tweeting, he won't stop doing what you need to do. So basically just be extremely, extremely resilient. You will see the food soon, 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 soon. Alright. Alright, thank you. I want to go to this for time. Can I request to keep them very short, please? Thank you. Because we go to Nasa to go to our workshop. Hi guys. Hi. My name is Jasmora, a content creator and also a psychologist. Yes. Now uh, my question goes to Bruno. Uh, now, um, I am a content creator, yes, and how do you balance between content creation and when to know you need to take time for self-care, you know, we need our, our time as uh, ourselves, yes. And then my last question goes to Fanny, you said about picking yourself up and dusting yourself and continuing, it's yes, you can do that. But how do you um, avoid backsliding from it? You find yourself in that situation again. Yes, thank you. So, guys, my name is Samuel, and I'm asking on behalf of other people who are just asking me to ask you one question. Or to any of you, I can wait one more. So, this is the question. Like, um, there are these guys who start content, okay, or we are talking, and then. Uh, the content in how they they go and now they want to create like the one person is having the, like a YouTube channel and then the same person is the one who is trying to you know pull out now we you know trade them you know in other Bushiwa and all those stuff. So how do you how do you guys handle that? Because I think I'm speaking for a lot of people. Yeah. Hi, how are you? My name is Melanie Mazzoni. So my question goes to Rono. How do you deal with friendships and as a content creator, um, feeling lonely, you don't feel like you fit in and trying to like, you know, get the people to trust through the journey of content creation? All right, I think that now is everybody on that table? Yes. Yeah, hello guys. Yeah, so my name is Ipumtisia. I'm a head as a content creator. Yeah, so my question is directed to Rono. Yeah, so Rono. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, to what extent do you think uh, fitness has helped you deal with mental health? 17. <laughs> 1 to 10, 17. <laughs> oh, wow! That's 7. That's serious. Okay. 7. So, hi guys. I'm Nadia, or Mama Stormy. So, my question is, uh, how do you deal with content creation for 2 years and I was in a, I was in marriage for five years and my partner did not like what I was doing. So he was like, I don't want to put a man on the table. He was so bad. She was so So I was asking, how can you deal with someone telling you what to do? Susan Kamal, I'm in sure that profession, not in content creation, but it's something I would love to do. My question is to Ada Um Is it worth using the platforms to express your daily feelings or what you're going through emotionally as a content creator? Is it wise and is it uh, advisable for you as a person? Or will it just bring me down? Hi, 
small family. So my question goes to Ronald. <laughs> so the first question is uh, after you did the interview with Lynn Kuni, the video that you did you talked about in process syndrome. So can you elaborate more on that? Especially if you feel like the friends will see um, where you're going with the whatever they're doing. Then another question is that I've gone through the major thing. So that's why I'm more passionate about it, but I don't feel like talking about it in my YouTube channel, but also feel like I want to make it relatable to other people, but I don't want my close friends and my family members to see that I don't do all that, but I want to help other people. So how can I do that? Hi, my name is Michelle Musumba. I am a makeup artist and content creator. So my question was, it goes to Fanny. Um, there are a lot of spaces where people have not accepted mental illness and mental health. I once had a breakdown at work and I was fired. So how do you um, give people that knowledge that this thing is real and mental health should be taken seriously? Okay, my name is Dr. Contest Peter from on Twitter. So I have two questions. I would like to pose this question to Jibush as Yad and Roma because they are the ones who have been calling most of it. <laughs> so, my question is maybe someone gets uh, a false narrative about you and they don't even believe that that is true. So, and, and, uh, from there, you will get depressed. Now, how do you come back and now you have to convince, some, you have to convince your audience that this narrative is not true? So that they again, you are trusted here. And then my second question is when really the brand that you are working with, the brand you are advertising uh, in a trauma picture, maybe, <laughs> yeah, in a trauma, maybe a customer that you know, a kid who has got a teenage kid. I'm on the phone to my boss in a trauma picture. And then uh, people are going to believe in you, they say you are married and all things. So again, how, what are things you do to gain again? Uh, to gain trust as before. Thank you. Wow. Okay. We can any questions. We can do it. 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 We can I had this thought, I get like to be humble and shame myself. Like, I know I was confident online, and uh, I know it can look like contradicting, but I was very fearful of the way I get. Um, and I was like, no, I don't want to, you know, feel okay about it, shy, I don't want to. But if you don't know that, you know, it's, you're surrounded by great people, you deserve to be in that room. There's a key to you in that room. The only way you can help the people around you is if you accept the love you've been given by God. Rejecting it, it only has you your be like and the people who believe in you and the, the things you can do for people. Um, so, step into it. Accept that this is my like, I have what I said about, um, she knew from a long time ago that this was a time that she was going to be and anything that has been put in your mind is there for you to always step into it and see God as what I can say. Nothing in life is linear. Nothing in life is a straight line. And the young people, or the us young people, we will make mistakes every day. And what is the best decision? It's the mistake that you make. That is how you will learn. Do not be afraid to pass by. You may pass by unknowingly, and you will. So what key lesson will you learn from that? You know, you interrogate yourself, the space that you're in, whatever issue or whatever thing that is happening to you at that time, and you pick the pieces and you pick the lessons. If it happens again, you retreat and ask yourself, if this happened last year, what is it happening to me again? What is it that I'm not doing right? Oh, what do I need to do to change or what do I need to do so that it does not happen again? But that does not mean that you now become a you've been hard on yourself. 
because you see, for content creator, or even for anybody to be as productive and to, to reach their, you know, highest optimum, you have to be free to believe in yourself. And that believing in yourself, I can put you to clearance. It's a good idea. Yeah, you will try to fall, pick up, and just continue. And do not worry how many times you fall. Because I am telling you, from my lived experience, you will fall. And the fall will be hard and loud. But just pick yourself up. Now, when the elephant will be there, hey, we will be there. So let me just take one more on oh, um, this one from that corner that talks about expressing your feelings on social media and whether it is right or wrong. I mean, I had that. It's, it, was, it was, yeah, expressing your feelings. It depends with you and how well are you confident in yourself. So, I will tell you from a personal experience. For me, I talk and write. And not if I am broke. And I talk on my Facebook, I talk on my uh, Twitter, I talk on my LinkedIn. In 2021, I suffered chronic depression. I was out for four months. And I am in a profession that is extremely judgmental, even in what you want to tell me. And I am expressive. So I suffered chronic depression. And mine manifested in ways that, let me say, they look like each one. For four months, I couldn't, I don't know, in 2021, from June 21st to September 27, I don't recall what happened in those four, four months. So I was diagnosed with chronic depression. So I talk about it on social media. And I realized in my sharing, I reach people in the same situation who do not have that mental strength to share publicly. So they reach out to me and tell me, I have also had a lot the same thing. So in that way, when we talk, I also find healing in myself and I also help them achieve that healing. So it all depends. There are people who don't share and there are people who share. It just depends with, in your sharing, what do you want to achieve? Or what do you want to communicate? And how are you communicating? What are the words you are using? My words are to empower, to reach out, to encourage, to inspire, and then you know what not. So share. If you want to share, just share. If you also feel like sharing, you can put it on your watch out of mind. But in social media, you know, you have the good and the dark. And for me, my mental strength is good cause to the truth. You will not bring me down by my own story. If I say I suffer this, and then you try to insult me, you will not be able to look a fool. Because you see, it is my story. I have found it. And I am sharing it to reach one or two or three people who may be inspired or healed or just, you know, inspired to do things differently. Are you ready to take on the bullets, the touches from, from social media because they will be there and then you decide. Okay, thank you very much, Rani. I know some of your questions have already been answered, but in the interest of time, we are going to be able to lunch and allow um, Laura to give us one minute, uh, one minute passing short. Then we can all go for lunch, interact with them. Please ask them those questions. Ask your fellow players. Some of us might have the answers within us. It's just that you've not spoken to the person next to you. They don't necessarily have to be answered by the people who are here. But we share the experiences, we have similar experiences. So Laura, our one minute passing short, then one minute passing short. Okay, so uh, if there's something I've learned from my journey is vulnerability is your power if used correctly. So what are you might be ashamed of when you're next to your love? Um, about friends, I love that it's okay to have good people and I noticed that before God elevates you, sure, this day will be all good, but before he elevates you, he'll expose people's hearts and it will hurt in that moment. 
but he's protecting you for greater and better things. So you okay. Okay, can you believe losing the people you love, of course, because it has, as I said, losing people sucks. But look, I always try to come from the bad side view and you can always keep the right people. Um, take up space, please. I'm um, very good. As much as I think you guys are coming in content creators, let me don't be scared to look stupid, don't be scared to be cringe. Go to those people first. If they you see like when you push a one top picture with them, don't say, I can't see you. Take up space because that audaciousness will make you be like, wow, I mean, this one is like I really want to die in my and I got to be like, so you can't do it. But look at you now, bro. I think. Take up much space as you can and uh, be confident. Even if you're fake it, I promise you that I'm shaking. But you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Take up space, guys. Like and I wish you all the best and uh, success to you all. Yeah. Thank you. For me, I'll just take you to believe in yourself. Everything, everything, everything starts in time. Before the world believes you, you have to believe in yourself. Everything. When you wake up in the morning, what do you tell yourself? Before you start your day, what do you tell yourself? Look in the mirror. Now, Jerry, everything we have. I am going to do this, I am going to do that. And if they even want to find out the way I want, I will at least have tried to do it. So, believe in yourself before the next person believes in you. And just know that you can do it. It has been done before, it will continue to be done. So, you, why are you not with the person who is doing it? Now, of course, the world of the world is being connected by Hatcher and Fanny. So, now, we are going to tell you guys that we get to mention that there are amazing, amazing individuals with services as well as products on site. We have DPS for life, we have Secretary, we have Good for Paul Pegger. Paul Pegger, which is a digital, a lot of digital business apps. We have Kuzan, we have Asgard, we have very many others. When you go to lunch, remember to take a selfie. The hashtag is hashtag is in the content creators convention. Tell us if you put a and sure which tab has get tap me, tap me. Students to work, she's in the last time. Then we'll get back, which allows the announcements for the winners. We have a challenge for making this a year old. So, to make it a little bit too much. So, it's our round of applause for Christine to watch this for Rachel. Uh, so, as we leave this door, there is a bridge. The restaurant is called Yamachoma. Yamachoma restaurant, that's where we are going for lunch. I'm sure you guys can match up. I mean, I have a restaurant speak for you. Can you please strike the course for the next? So we are skipping a session now and having it after lunch that we should have. And in that session, we are going to have the amazing Pavel Mutuaba.